Hello and thank you for being here today. In this video I am going to show you how I made my paper quilted magical journey box. I hope this inspires you. It was easy and so much fun to do. Okay, well you know I didn't know how I was going to start this video but um, I thought let me just show you and get on with it. I don't know if any of you had seen uh, a video and I have it out um, where I had done some tiles some uh, Palmer clay tiles I used to do that a lot and what I had done was I did one of these and it's like a oh, I have a hard time remembering which side you open okay so you open it up it's a wood box you can get these at AC more this one's really old because I had done one and then had another one and then never did it so what I had done with that one and I show it in that video and I'm going to try and find it and I'll, I'll link it it was a video where I make uh, Palmer clay tiles and then I show some of my things well what happened was uh, and I knew I should have given it to my daughter which I had wanted to give it to her I wanted to give it to her and I kept forgetting well it got wet it was in a box in the basement that got wet and I had to throw it out I mean it was so beautiful and it breaks my heart to even think about it so I thought well I'm gonna finally do this one but I'm not gonna do the clay tile again um, that was an absolutely monstrous amount of work because I did the front and the back and then I also um, collage the inside the whole inside so this one I'm gonna stain it so I'm gonna stain this one um, a nice golden color I think I have some stain from deco art and I'll stain it and then what I'm gonna do is take one of my folders cut it and then use it because it, it fits really perfectly on the top here I'll just turn it this way okay and then take pieces of my jelly paper jelly print paper uh, you gotta kinda work it down here yeah cause these little things here so it'll have to be cut but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take pieces of my jelly pin print paper which I love and kind of make like an embroidered pattern like a like a quilt maybe you know cut these up and put them all different ways and you know I've done that before with paper I've shown you and then kinda do that that way and um, just sew it you know first I'm gonna glue it down and then I'm gonna go in with the machine and sew it and do it um, a nice kind of quilt paper quilt and then I'll have this as the backing uh, and then I can just glue it down and then the curved piece now on the other one on the curved piece I didn't tile it I had painted this gold here it was beautiful um, and even in this part here I had painted gold so I don't know I may do that again um, and maybe burn uh, something in here I don't know but I just I just got the urge to do this so and I keep looking at these papers and I just I'm like I, I really love them I've done them so long ago jelly print um, they were envelopes and all kinds of things and I just cut them up and uh, I'm just gonna use them look at this with the roses isn't that gorgeous so I'll do the front and the back um, when I start gluing it together onto here I'll show you I'm gonna start cutting the pieces up and then start making a little kind of quilt and then you know since the sewing machine has been pretty good so far working with paper and letting me sew embroidered paper but I thought this would give it a nice back I was gonna use felt uh, but then I thought you know I don't know I think this will stick better to the wood having paper and I didn't know if I wanted a cushion you know felt top I usually use the felt for my fabric journals and things so right now that's what I'm gonna do and then the inside um I am thinking of I'm gonna stain it I don't know if I'm gonna collage in here again I, I really don't know what I really want to use this for is for uh, mementos and maybe for my um, 
witchy things that you know I plan on collecting and right now I have I've been putting some crystals and and little memento things that I found in one of my uh, pretty little wood chests uh, but that is actually my grandson's um, when he was a little boy oh I'll show you it I will show you it I'll be right back so this is what I've been using Oops, it's okay. I put this mark on it my grandson um, you can see that it's really pretty but my grandson Canaan who is now 17 when he was a little boy he loved this and he loved it has a key with this so I found it it had been packed away you know like everything else from moving so many times and I found it and I've been using it and it smells really good inside because I had an incense in there and um, but you know I do have to give it back to him well give it back to him he doesn't even probably remember <laughs> But Grandma does because he used to play. He used to put all kinds of things in here. Like he would find things and he would stick them in here. And it was like a big thing to him to have like it when he was a little boy. He was so precious with this, you know. And he loved keys. And we had, um, I have these other keys that I saved for him too that he used to play with. He used to love all that stuff. So it has like a, a velvet inside. I have no idea where I got this. I, I don't even remember. It had to be at a thrift store, antique store, somewhere. And the child just uh, went crazy for it. So it'll go back to him. And, you know, when he comes, he'll hopefully be coming soon. He was here. Uh, in the summer, but I hadn't found this. I didn't even, I forgot about it. And I just looking for stuff, I found it. So when he comes back again, I'll ask him if he wants it. If he doesn't want it, then I'll keep it. Or if he wants me to just save it for him, because he's going to be going to college and his dad is going to be moving after he goes to college. The other, my oldest grandson is already, you know, he's working and he's going to be getting his own place. So uh, my son is going to be moving, um, so I don't know if he's even going to want it right now. But he may want it when he gets older. So Grandma will keep this until he wants it. And if he doesn't want it, I'll keep it for my stuff. So right now, this is what I've been putting my incense and and uh, crystals and saving things in here. And so, But it'll be nice to use, to have something else and to use this. And I'm so glad that... I'm finally going to work on this, and they ha and I even have a small one of this somewhere. Oh, where did I put that one? There's a small version of this, which I have, uh, and I saw it recently, so I know it's okay, but um, I may do that one too. So that is what I'm up to, and that's what I'm going to start doing, and hopefully I'll be able to show you the process as I go along, and if, you know, do you decide you want to do this I know that AC AC more for boxes and th I know Michaels has stuff and so does Hobby Lobby but AC more that's where I always bought all my little um, little boxes I'll show you that too yeah they have this size which is nice because they have it with the top that comes off which I like because if you do it with the top that has the hinge, it this is really heavy once you put the tile. So I always bought these for my classes because I used to teach this a lot, um, live classes. And then also there's a video on this too that I'll link below. Uh, but they, you know, they and this I get from AC Moore for these. But these are so much fun to do and just... Um, you know, this one I had stained the wood and then I had stamped on it and then put these little uh, findings on here for the legs. Yeah, this one I did in 2010. I kept this one because I love, this was my favorite. Uh, and I've given so many away as gifts and, and then in classes. So yeah, this one says dream. So that's what I had done to this. So you can imagine, it was beautiful but I don't have the heart to do it again. So right now, anyway, so maybe I'll do the small one. 
So right now, that is what I'm going to do, I think. So I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to cut these up and make a pretty pattern for them, and then um, just do a nice quilting thing with that. Okay, and I'll be back when I get that ready to glue down. I'm going to glue it down first because, uh, well, I'll probably use uh, decoupage, and then let it dry really well before I put it under with the needle in my sewing machine. But I think that that'll be good before I sew it because I want to make sure it's down and that'll be that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so this is how I have it set up right now. I don't have a glue down yet onto the paper, but I just wanted you to see this. And I am going to take my decoupage and I am going to um, put this down and then let it dry and then do the back cut another one of these uh, file folders do the back and then let that dry and then I will go in and stitch it and kinda I wanted to keep like I love that rose I want to make sure that I keep the pieces that I really love uh, in full view so and not covering up too much of it so hopefully it'll look nice once it's sewn I think I'm gonna sew it with gold uh, thread and see how that works. So I'll be back then. Okay, so you can see that I have done my sewing. I've stitched, maybe not completely straight, but <laughs> I did do stitching on here. Put it all together. I trimmed it and I'm going to now paint this. And But I wanted to show you um, this. Uh, I try to make it as best as I could. Um, not so great at doing it, <laughs> making pentacles. So, uh, but I did try. And what I did was I printed this out on, I love this, this stupid file folder stuff. I always use it. Uh, and then what I did is I just put the, roll the clay, and this is polymer clay, and then just did it. And then I took it and flipped it over onto the little pan to cook it in the in the um, toaster oven and I kind of wound this around um, supposedly like a snake kind of wrapping itself around it was really a pain in the neck to do I'm not good at it so um, I did it with some gray cl uh, clay so I'm gonna paint it uh, probably black I think with some gold maybe I don't know uh, but I think that would stand out on there. And this is the front. So, yeah. So, i got to remember. It's odd because you think the front would be the flatter, you know, the, the squared off part. But it isn't. It's the rounded part. So, I've got to keep remembering that. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to get that painted. And then, I think of some border to go around and uh, fiddle with that too but this is you know what I've gotten so far so I'm gonna be real careful with this and then what I did was I actually took a stamp and kinda of pressed it on here to give it some um, design but it really didn't come out that great but that's okay I'll, I'll play with it and see what I could do with it but so that's what I did I just printed out the pentacle on here and then just kind of used it as my guide so I could uh, and I don't even I cut this out for a reason because I was going to use this for something else I could actually use it as a, a stencil oh I know what I was going to do I was going to actually just trace this for something to put it on a uh, fabric that's what I was going to do and uh, so I had it so I thought okay I will just use it as my guide you can see it's off a little bit but that's because it moved. When I flipped it, I kind of made a mess out of it. <laughs> but I don't know. It looks okay to me right now. So we'll see. It's mine. So I don't care. Oh, and then I wanted to show you these things. I have these things from years ago. I, I used to use these a lot in things like this. When I did tile work and stuff, I would put them on the corner of boxes and frames and, you know, whatever. So I still have them. I have no idea where I got them. Uh, it's like 10 years ago, maybe, I bought them. 
So that's, I'm going to, you can kind of stain them whatever color you want. And, um, you know, let me see if we get more light on here, if that helps. I don't know if it helps or it just makes it like glare. But you can see these things are, and I'll probably stain them gold, black and gold. I don't know. So, and then you just put them, you know, on the corners of your project. And I don't know if I have enough for the back. I have some different ones too, smaller ones, because I use these for the little boxes and things that I made. So I have some smaller ones too, so I don't know. I don't know, I have one more large. I have to see if I can find some more. Oh, and then there's one, look at that color. So I like that color better. So that's what I may do, yeah, I like that color better. The darker, but this I bought it like that, so I don't. I'm gonna have to try to use some black and gold and on these and try to get them to that. Maybe I could use um, some ink or something. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I'm thinking of doing for now. And like I said, I'm gonna paint the box, and I thought I was gonna stain it, but I actually think I may paint it. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll stain it first. If I don't like it, I'll go over it with paint, right? What the heck? Okay, well, I'll be back. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to paint it with DIY paint. I'm like, why not, right? I love that paint. So I'm going to roll up my sleeves and get some paint on here. Um, I think I'll start with the um, Queen Bee. Okay, I have to remember to work with this like I'm working with a piece of furniture. Um, so I'm just going to take some of the paint, put it on here, and then, because it's pretty thick, and then um, kind of just wet it down. And I'll wet this down a little bit, and wet the paint down, and then just start. So that's not all I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of just work with it like. So I just painted everything with the Queen Bee, except for the covers. I just did around the edges of the back cover and the front cover, but just painted everything, the hinges and everything, and then just kind of layered different colors on top. And I'll just show you when I get to the black, I put the black on last. Hopefully you can see the colors in there. And I just went over with the black. And you can still see the other colors on the bottom. Um, and of course, you know, these are going to be, they're going to have the paper on them. So, and what I did is I did the yellow, the Queen Bee. And then I went with the Cowgirl Coral. And then the Mermaid, uh, Mermaid's Tail. So I'm going to show you. I put a whole bunch of paint on here. And I used the... Um, acrylic paint, the deco art, and just put a whole bunch of different colors and then I went over it with black. So you can still see some of the colors in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the deco art, the metallic, which I've opened and got all over the place. So um, I'm just going to kind of wipe it on here. Kind of, and then kind of wipe it off a little bit. And you can do that with uh, rub and buff and, you know, anything. Same thing. Ink of gold, all that wonderful stuff that we all have. But I'm just, just decided to use the, the paint, the deco art, the metallic. So I get a little bit of... You see, it'll still have colors in there, but um, you'll have the black with the gold. So I think it'll stand out nicely over that paper. And I'll be back to show you that. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm really liking it. You know, it, I wasn't that crazy about it at the beginning because, you know, it looked kind of funky, but, you know, I like funky, so there you go. I can actually, you know, go over that with a, a finish, like a gloss finish, which I may do. But I'm right now I'm going to just let it set. You can see it. And I can still see the colors. Some of the colors coming through. But yet it has the black and the gold on it. So I'm liking that. So I'll be okay, right back. So I just wanted to show you. Um, I am, I've got this done, right? And I'm going to put this on here. And what I did was I, and this is, uh, let's see if I can get the, I think the paint gave it a little bit of thickness. I did wax some of this. Some of this I put the, the um, clear coat on and then some of them I, some of pieces I waxed. So this way maybe it would, you know, go in and out better. And now I'm painting the corner pieces and going to stain those uh, making them gold those little things that I showed you these so I'm um, gonna use those in the corners I think and I was even thinking about putting a little knob here to kinda pull this um, so I'd remember which side <laughs> Which. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. I have I have some little ornaments that I could use if I glue down, um, and I'll see. But th so far this is this is as far as I've gotten, and I may do some more painting on here. I don't know, but I just wanted to show you how that looks there. Once I glue it, it'll look really cool. So I'm loving this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you where I am right now. I made some polymer clay tiles with some words. So this says, My Magical Journey. Uh, and then I used Pearl X to uh, color it. I didn't paint it like I did the um, the pentacle. I, did, I just uh, used the Pearl X and then baked it. And then this, I made a little knob, even though I may not be able to use it, I don't know as a knob, I don't know if it will be strong enough glue to, you know, if I had something where I had, which I, I do have a knob somewhere where you could, you know, make a hole and then pull it through and then you'd be able to have it, but uh, be able to have it actually open. But So it's really there just for ornamental, I believe. That's what probably will happen. And you can see that I did some stamping on it and then I used the Pearl X and then baked it. Now I'm going to glue this on it and I've been dying to use that little dragon. And then these I uh, did paint and use gold and uh, kind of like a kind of like a brassy gold I don't know uh, on these and if I can figure out where I got them but that was so long ago I really really cannot remember. So if I can't find it then don't hold me to it. You can have to look online and see. I don't even know what they're called. So um, that's that with that. And uh, so I'm going to use Gorilla Glue to glue it down. I usually would use Wellbond for my tile pieces when I was making boxes and, you know, ornamental things, pieces and all that but I don't have it so I'm going to use the Gorilla Glue and what I wanted to show you if you you know wanted to make corner pieces all you have to do is just and I used to make these and use them all the time uh, make yourself a square decorate it bake it and then well cut it first and then bake it and uh, so you're going to cut the square in half so this way you have a nice corner piece for your whatever you decide to do. Now the original one that I made like this was all tile. So I use these for my corner pieces and they work, you know, really nice. They look really pretty. So if you want to do that, you could do that too. And also I was thinking, you know, maybe a small, I don't know if I have any really small letters, uh, but make a little piece down here or you can actually do it in paper too and just uh, put your name you know, I think that would be great. Like, or a little tile with your name on it, 
and I'm thinking I, I may do that and that'll be nice too or you could put it inside the box too if you wanted to decorate the inside with some tile um, that'd be really cool too so I'm gonna get this glued down and then we'll talk some more right back okay let me show you the inside I could have sworn that I did a video showing you me painting the inside I don't know if I was dreaming it or what but I don't think I have to show you what I did on the inside I kinda did finger painting um, again you know I like to do that like I did on some of the furniture and some canvases so that's what I did just to give it you know some more color so of course you know I need to have color and you could you know go in and do tile in here or you know like I did with the other one I had done um, I actually just did collage pretty papers and stuff at that time that was like 10 years ago so um, I had just done collage papers and I, I wasn't doing jelly prints back then so and it looked really pretty in here so you can do that but I needed you know I want to have something so when I open it up I'm happy um, so that's what I did and I kind of did that all around it um, Oh, that light here you go you can see a little bit there it's really weird that I thought I actually video recorded this but I guess I didn't I cannot find it so that's that the sides or I was gonna do them just gold and then I thought nah nah I'm just gonna just continue with the flowers and I haven't figured out the back yet so they, these are glued right now so I'm waiting for them to kinda really dry good I don't know what I'm gonna do on the back probably not gonna do any a uh, Palmer clay because I you know it'll be all cockeyed when I lay it down so I really probably just keep the back uh, plain maybe do uh, maybe I'll put my name back here and um, do that in the back or something you know in paper and not in clay. I guess I could also do um, uh, some of these. Now I can only find the small ones of these. I can't find the large ones. So I, I may do that. I may do that on the back. I don't know. I really... Oh, you know what it is? I have two large ones and two small ones. That was the problem. If I could find two more large ones or two more small ones, then I can do it. But um, yeah put other cool stuff back there besides this I love this paper and I love all the stitching and I was gonna do the stitching in gold but wind up using red blue black I did do gold somewhere I think I don't remember I don't know but I just love the way it came out so just crazy about it and this you know this is still drying so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it as actual handle but see that comes with this little um, we can see that it has a little thing that sticks out that goes in to the little hole here so you got to make sure that you don't uh, clog that up but you know what I did on here I waxed it uh, is that the part I waxed yeah I waxed in here and here because I thought the wax would make it easier to close instead of putting the um, the clear coat you know stuff on it the glossy whatever the heck that stuff is big top I think it's called the DIY so I didn't do that but now with this I am going I wanted to get it down this down first before I go over it so I am gonna go over this, this is the deco art uh, clear coat but I wanted to make sure that I got everything down first before I did that so I can just go over everything with it and the back too so that's what I'll do with the paper with this I did the um, the DIY the big top because I used the uh, I ain't gonna turn this light off I think that's the damp the problem is just yeah that's better I'm gonna use the uh, I use the big top because I use the DIY paint so yeah that's much better so I think that was like kind of glaring so maybe you can see it better now sorry about that kinda of funky fun colorful 
Okay, is it show? Yeah, it shows it better. Okay. Yeah, that other light was just making just too much light and it's too glary. So, yes, and that's where I waxed because I wanted it to go in easier. I thought it would be easier if it was waxed, but I didn't wax the rest of it. I just went over with the big top. And then this, I'm going to go over with the, let me go see what I've got and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these. I've got the Dora Clear Soft Touch Varnish Americana, and I also have the Traditions uh, Multi Surface Sealer. I could use that. So, both of these, I mean, I've used, yeah, you know, I've used them both quite a bit on things. So, they both work really nice. So, I'll put those on the front and the back once this is all dry. And I got to tell you, you know, Gorilla Glue is pretty good. Um, really, it is, but it smells. So, stinky okay so I'm doing it with my camera so hopefully you can see the colors better and hopefully here's the cool dragon Okay, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the pentacle. Um, from what I've been learning about it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And uh, it is something that, you know, I never really thought about before this, getting into my ma on my magical journey. So what I wanted to tell you is what I've learned, and if, I mean, a lot of you are already witches and already pagans and Wiccans and all that stuff and know this stuff. Well, I didn't. And um, so from what I've learned is this is the spirit, this is the, um, this is water, this is fire, this is earth, and this is air. And then the circle which makes the pentagram a pentacle is the protection from the goddess and the god being that the star here in the middle the pentagram is the human so the spirit is always there but I guess they can put the other elements wherever you want I guess when different teachers teach they can put it wherever and then having this wrapped around for protection is the goddess and the god which I think that sounds wonderfully beautiful um, so I'm so glad that I'm learning more and taking the time for this because I'm really enjoying it and I just love this and what I'm thinking of is I am going to do my um, book of shadows I believe the same way so this way it matches this and uh, I think that's going to be my the way of doing it so I have to do some more jelly prints and it'll be a whole thing and maybe I'll do a video on it uh, showing you how I I did it um, get my book of shadows done because I really want to get that done I mean I do have notebooks I'm writing notes and things and you know this is gonna be fun I'm gonna put this on my altar it's gonna go into I believe I'm gonna put it in my my bedroom once my room gets finished my husband's working in there and he's putting a um, he had to do a bathroom in there because it only had like a toilet and a sink. This is an old house and nothing has been redone. I mean, this stuff in here from the 80s, you know, was in the, the regular house. And it's not a big house. It's a small little cottage kind of the house itself. This is a cottage, but the house itself isn't much bigger. So um, I've got parts of that house that I really connect with and one of the parts is the bedroom uh, my bedroom is upstairs and that's where he's doing the bathroom so he made a shower up there but right now I can't sleep in that room because it is a mess See? so once I get up there I am going to bring this up there um, my book of shadows when I get that done I don't know if I'm gonna have that up there all the time because I want to do a lot of artwork in it so 
this is where all my art supplies are. So it'll probably be here and there and everywhere. So I don't know. <laughs> and I haven't decided if I'm going to use that big book that I showed in the video that I did for Facebook for our group, The Gypsy and the Witch. And I had shown a big uh, book that I had gotten from Amazon. I had seen uh, a witch uh, make it make a, a book out of it. Uh, this um, it's kind of like a not a sketchbook, but I think it's it, the pages are a little bit thicker. And I'm hoping to eventually work in that book, but I don't know if I'm going to start in that book. If you know what I mean, you know, it's like I think it's very. In, intimidating for me right now that big book uh, so I may start small and then get in right now I'm just taking notes I do have a workbook that I've been taking notes in and things like that but I want to I really think I would want it to have this cover like this uh, on a regular book okay I thought I'd just show you the book that I'm talking about and this is the book and it's a nice big book it's got nice big pages whether it's made well I don't think it's made that well, but it was $26. It has 600 pages in it. Uh, I'll, I'll just go along with it and see how it goes. I mean, the pages are really big, so you could do a lot of, uh, a lot of work in it. So that I like. Um, but whether or not it stays together after you start putting things in, I won't use... Um, acrylic paints but I was thinking of doing you know using uh, markers and also um, you know gluing things in and stuff like that so I, I don't know uh, I can't really give you a good review on it because I don't really haven't used it and as far as I can see as just handling it it's big but I don't think it's made as well as I would have liked it to be made so um, I think it would have been a lot should have been a lot sturdier but we'll see we'll see how it goes along I'll let you know how it works out but this is the one that I'm thinking about doing the cover the same as the box so the magical journey box and then this will be my book of shadows so this will be my magical journal and this will be where I put all my bits and pieces and that I uh, come along and save and um, I don't know how much I could fit in here but you know we'll see and then I could always uh, tack things you know put like a little clip thing in here uh, and then tack paper on and do I have all kinds of ideas so we'll see what happens but thank you all for being here I appreciate you being here I love you guys if I inspired you which I hope that I did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and share my videos all that wonderful stuff and I will put links below to any of the supplies that I can find on Amazon and then also link at the end of this and then I'll put it below to to the video where I actually do the tile uh, boxes and I think in that video which I'm gonna go back and look I show you the actual journal box that I did with the tile that I'm talking about in the beginning that I had to throw out that I did 10 years ago which was amazing uh, so I will put that link to that video at the end here and then below and I love you love you love you and thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time bye bye